Yesterday marks one year since the death of Earl Moore Jr. The 35-year-old died at a local hospital after police were called to the home where he was staying during a medical emergency. When officers arrived, they requested EMS. Peggy Finley and Peter Cadigan responded from Lifestar Ambulance Service. They're now charged with first-degree murder after facing Moore face down on a stretcher. Yesterday, his family had a balloon release to honor and remember Earl. Now, this isn't the first time his family held a balloon release for him. They also honored him with one on his birthday earlier this year. I just miss my brother so much. I always think about him every day. It ain't a day that don't go by that I don't think about him. Mourner family says a balloon release has become a tradition for them, and they plan to do this every year. News Channel 20's Julia Rozier joins us with how his family is coping one year later and a breakdown of the case as well. On December 18th, 2022, at 1.59 a.m., Springfield police received a call to the 1100 block of North 11th Street. The original dispatch call indicated there were multiple... After police arrived, one individual said there were no weapons in the home and that Moore was hallucinating due to alcohol withdrawals. At 2.07 a.m., the SPD officers called for an ambulance for Moore. Ten minutes later, EMS workers from Lifestar Ambulance Service, Peggy Finley and Peter Canigan, arrived at the home. The officers' body camera footage showed Finley speak harshly with more. Come on, Earl. Let's let's Sit up. Come on, man. Come on. What happened? Oh. Stop. Sit up. Sit up. Now. The officers then helped Moore outside to the stretcher where he was strapped face down and put in the ambulance. Moore was pronounced dead at HSHS St. John's Hospital at 3.14 a.m. Officials say Moore died of compression and positional asphyxia. On January 9th, 2023, Cadigan and Finley were arrested and charged with first-degree murder by former state's attorney Dan Wright. Bond was set for both at $1 million. Prosecutors argued that Cadigan and Finley knew that placing Moore in the prone position and tightening the straps against his back would create a, quote, substantial probability of great bodily harm or death. Just days later, civil rights attorney Ben Crump and Bob Hilliard were retained by Morse family for a civil lawsuit against Finley, Cadigan, and Lifestar Ambulance Service. 